All right, guys. So I thought I'd make a quick, short video. If you follow me on Facebook, I'm trying to look for some good content, stuff that I haven't recorded before. So, um, got one. This is this is a you know this is a twelve thousand. Uh, sorry, two thousand twelve six seven. And we got some codes. Hold on a second. We got some codes. Got some circuit codes, and let's see. Yeah, for the EGR valve, stuck open, stuck closed, all kinds of crap. So, first things first, I always do a visual on it. And I noticed something out of the ordinary when I looked at it. I looked at the connector, and I looked at the back end. It looks kind of dirty like maybe something burnt or something so I unplugged and that's and you can smell like electrical fire and you can see the connector all burnt uh, the reason why because the motor is just shot and you got, uh, <coughs> if you were here you could probably smell it uh, let's see if I can find a mirror go throw my junk I don't know I got one around here somewhere let's see Oops. So it's not work. Yeah. It's not cracked. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on, I'm put you down. You can see the motor's a little burnt right there. You can see the pin. So yeah, this, this EGR valve is gone. Burnt, burnt internally, maybe something shorted inside. Who knows? Um, so I went and looked to see how many miles this thing has. Should get good indication. Yeah, that many miles, 300,000. It looks original. Eight thousand. Yeah, look at that. So it doesn't idle. So it drives around a lot. It doesn't idle. It's, one, it's just a regular work truck by a foreman or something like that. So this one's the easy one. Um, so I'm back in the saddle again. I, <clears throat> I didn't want to go back to the dealership, but. Since they can't find any diesel techs anywhere in my area, pretty much still in California, and they paid me well, and they gave me a lot more than I expected, so um, so I decided to go back. Well, I was supposed to move to Texas, or get, or plan to go to Texas and stay out there for a while, but things have changed uh, for my wife and I, and uh, we decided to stay and. And I told her I'll go back to work, and she said she was cool with it. And she's doing all right herself, and she works for the county. So she has one of those good government jobs. And so we're staying in California for the meantime. So that means I get to buy more guns now. <laughs> or in, and make more ammo. So other than that, same toolbox, same old, same old thing. And... Uh, I'll be making more videos. Alright guys.